Hello and welcome to Spring 3.0 training. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the course content that is being covered and uh, we'll see the various chapters that is being offered in this. Uh, so there are total of seven chapter and the first chapter has been named as chapter zero which talks about the spring background how we have reached to the spring world what was the initial web timeline right from the first browser and to the first web server then we saw gradually how spring evolved right from the CGI pearl days to spring this is the third topic that we are looking at the spring course content itself that we are going to discuss in this video and after that we are going to see the setup and hello world basic setup using the Eclipse, uh, Tomcat and the Spring jars and dependencies and then we'll finally cover the design patterns that is used in Spring. So this is a background chapter. If you are an advanced developer and you have been using these for some years, you, you can skip this chapter but this is quite interesting so I would still recommend you to, to go through it but this definitely is an optional chapter. So chapter one is uh, the Spring core. Here we start with the inversion of control and dependency injection, the con IOC container itself. We look at the managed bean, the bean life cycle. And in the part B, uh, we look at the XML based dependency injection, annotation based dependency in injection, and Java based dependency injection. Uh, we'll further look at the resources that is used in Spring. And then uh, we look at we look at validators and converters and uh, Spring expression language. The reason the last two topics are in a different color is because uh, we have divided the course into two levels the first is level one every anything in black is covered in level one and anything not in black the orange color is covered in level two so these two topics will be covered in level two and spring core is the main chapter it will take most of the course time it's some somewhere around six to eight hours once we are done with Spring Chapter 1, we'll move on to Spring AOP and we'll be covering the different topics in AOP. Then we'll move on to the web tier where we'll cover the Spring MVC. And in the end, you can see that this is again in orange color. Uh, there we'll see the basic introduction of struts. We'll see the integration of struts with Spring and we'll do a mini project. So that will be covered in level 2 and this these topics in black will be covered in level 1. In the web data tier, that is the Chapter 4, we'll talk about the data access with JDBC, transaction management, integrating Spring with JPA. These are the three topics that will be covered in level 1 and rest of the four topics will be covered in level 2. So that's chapter 4 and in chapter 5 which is entirely about the Spring security, uh, this will be covered in level 2. This is not part of level 1 Spring training. And finally, the chapter 6 which has some advanced topic like remoting web services, Java messaging service and internationalization and rest. So these are the topics that will be covered in the level 2. So you, you can see that all the 7 chapters is normally divided into two parts. So Spring background is the one that we are talking about and we are covering this portion, the Spring course content. So chapter 1 has two topics which is level 2. Chapter 2 has no topics which is level 2. Chapter 3 has uh, two topics which is uh, level 2 and chapter 4 has four topics which is level 2 and uh, spring security is not part of level 1 and finally advanced topics is also not part of so level 1 after this video we will we'll cover the basic setup and uh, see you there 